At level number one, this is where we all start. We all start with a title. We all start with a job description. We all start with a position. People at level number one follow you because they have to. In other words, you're the boss. The downside of level number one is the people who follow you will give you the least amount of their energy and effort. People don't like to have to follow people because they have to follow people. Level number two is the permission level. People now begin to follow you because they want to. Now what happened between levels one and two? You've connected with your people. They're not following you just because you are a supervisor. They're, they're following you because you are a supervisor that people like. The leader on level two, they have three things that they do extremely well to be a relational leader. One is they listen well. Secondly, they observe. They're conscious about where their people are and what their people are doing. And thirdly, they're learning. And then in the process of listening, observing, and learning, they have an attitude of servanthood. The third level is the production level. At, at, at this level, you become effective as a leader because you produce. And at level number three, your leadership begins to gain credibility because now you are fleshing out for the people around you things that they want to see. Level number four is the people development level. The most appreciable asset you have in any organization is the people of that organization. Three thoughts on developing people. Number one is the key to developing leaders and the key to developing good people is in recruitment. 80% of your success of equipping people to be successful is in the front door on who you bring in. Recruitment is key. Number two is positioning. The ability not only to bring the right person in the, right, in, in, the, in the front door, but also to put him in the right place, as Collins would say, get him on the bus, get him on the right seat. Successful people have discovered what they're good at. Successful leaders discover what other people are good at. At level number four, you recruit well, you position well, and then you equip well. And I use a very simple five-step equipping process. The first step is, is I do it. Step two is I do it and you're with me. I take you with me. Now we're going to spend time together. I'm going to be your mentor. Now on step three, you do it. You do it and I'm with you. Step four is you do it. You don't need me anymore. You know how to do it. You do it and you do it well. Step five is, is you do it and somebody's with you. You've never really trained and equipped somebody until they can multiply themselves. That's level number four. It's the level where you develop people. It's level number five. The pinnacle level. The pinnacle level, the key word there is respect. They follow you because of who you are, the qualities you have in your life. They follow you because of what you have done. Leadership is an always ongoing, always learning, growing process. Okay.